Republican Congressman James Comer, the chair of the house oversight committee that of course is overseeing the Biden impeachment effort kind of went ballistic on a reporter from MSNBC this week. When the reporter Ryan Nobles asked him a simple question of what crime did Biden possibly commit, right? It's a very simple question. And it's a question that if you're looking to impeach the guy for high crimes and misdemeanors, as the constitution calls for, then you've got to at least have something. You've got to have an inkling of some sort of crime that may have been committed. So nobles pressed Comer, what's the crime here? Now, this is how the conversation started. Nobles said to Comer, quote, there was no evidence that Joe Biden did anything. And then Comer jumps in and says, he got $200,000 from, and before he could finish, Nobles just cut him off. Cause that's total BS. It was a loan he gave to his brother that his brother paid back. So Nobles jumps in and says, what did he as a public official? And Comer jumps back in. He says, uh, Jim Biden said, no, listen, you can defend Joe Biden all day long. And they said, you're part of the liberal media. You can be on his legal defense team. Kevin Morris would probably pay, play your legal bills. And Nobles getting a little annoyed at this point at Comer said, what specific action did he take as a public official an elected public official that if you, you have that evidence present it?" And Comer snapped back and he said, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. So Comer was asked a very simple question. You're investigating president Biden for allegedly committing crimes. What crimes are you investigating? And Comer as per usual, cannot answer. He tried to dance around it and say, well, he loaned his brother $200,000 and his brother, Jim paid him back. There, there's literally nothing illegal about that. You can loan family members money. You can loan people money. Anybody it doesn't have to be a family member and they can pay you back. That that's not a crime at all. But that is where Comer immediately went because that's all he had. And then when the reporter kept pressing him, Comer had the audacity to try to gaslight the reporter. It was like, Whoa, calm down. It's okay, buddy. You're getting worked up. Like, no, the reporter was not getting worked up. You insulted him, called him a part of the liberal media, suggested he should join president Biden's defense team. You were the one who needed to calm down but you were trying to gaslight the guy into thinking that you weren't overreacting, but he was because you have nothing, Jim, you have absolutely nothing on president Biden. And for the record, about two weeks ago, you actually admitted that to reporters. You told reporters two weeks ago that, yeah, the impeachment, uh, we don't have the votes. So why are you still doing it? I'll tell you why. Cause James Comer, is not actually trying to impeach president Biden. He is running a PR campaign for the Republican party because a couple days before Comer had that interaction with the reporter, Comer went on Fox news. I believe he was talking to, uh, <clears throat> let's see, was it Sean Hannity? Uh, no, it was on Fox business. But anyway, Comer was asked about Alexander Smirnoff, right? The FBI informant that has now been arrested twice for lying to the FBI. And of course, basically working as a propaganda tool for the Russian government. But Comer doesn't buy into that story. Oh God, no. So instead Comer is out there pushing a new conspiracy theory that the FBI did this intentionally. Here's what Comer said on Fox business. The FBI paid him to be a spy in Russia. The FBI indicted him because he was communicating with Russia, but that's what they paid him for, for over 10 years to do. I don't know anything about Smirnoff, but the circumstances around his indictment and his rearrest and the changing of the original indictment by special prosecutor, David Weiss is very concerning because everything that I've, I've had to do with the FBI has been very suspicious throughout this investigation. The trust level that I have with the FBI is zero. Uh, Smirnoff was not arrested at all for communicating with the Russians. He was arrested for lying to the FBI. So just so we're clear on that, Jim. It wasn't because he talked to the Russians. It's because he lied to the FBI and oh, I don't trust the FBI. He says, really? The FBI is still being run by a Trump guy, Christopher Ray, not to mention the special prosecutor that you attacked there. David Weiss was also a Trump appointee. So you're attacking two Trump appointees in order to push your idiotic conspiracy theory that the FBI is trying to make all this happen to make the Biden investigation go away. 
You can't name a single crime and you're resorting to pushing conspiracy theories to defend your actions. And all of that tells me you got nothing and you probably won't ever have anything.